hi guys you are watching go it center and this video obviously a uh, very important video and it is on the hot topic that uh, how we can update from 24h2 to 25h2 means if we are running the windows 11 24h2 how we can update to 25h2 now there are two main key points so first of all we will talk about the genuine method obviously how we can get the automatic update from the microsoft obviously 25h2 is the officially released so we it should be on our laptop so number one point is very simple that uh, if you are using a hardware that is totally compatible with the or supportive with the windows 11 and uh, definitely in that case you will get update automatically so this is my laptop and it is compatible with windows 11 means it is uh, little is uh, it is little bit high specs pc so uh, i got update automatically from the microsoft so you can see that if i open in front of you the uh, microsoft update so you can see that windows 11 version 25 h2 is available and uh, i even my l get latest update as soon as possible they are available even this this toggle button is off despite of that i got the update 25 h2 you can see that and uh, obviously once i click on to the download and install it will be downloaded and installed uh, within 30 minutes not more than that so the first thing is very much clear that if your hardware is compatible with the windows 11 you will get automatic update no need to worry about that but the second point is that if you don't have the hardware that is compatible with the uh, windows 11 means you are you, your hardware is lacking so in that case you can also update your windows 11 24h to 25h2 uh, through the enroll enablement package so i'm going to tell you right now that how you can do that those so second way forward is basically for the unsupportive hardware if your hardware is supportive then no need to worry about that but if your hardware is not supportive then in that case you have to follow the second technique and uh, let's say i'm going i'm going in front of you and i have opened this machine and uh, let me show you the version of this windows 11 win version so you can see that uh, it is 24h2 and uh, it is available on to the and and this pc is basically unsupportive hardware it contains unsupportive hardware and uh, let me show you the windows update you can see that there is no 25h2 is available means no package is offering by the microsoft uh, onto the uh, on their update wizard so even my get latest update as soon as possible it is this toggle button is already on and uh, I, I put this pc uh, more than a week in the observation and it's despite of the toggle button is on i didn't get anything so one thing is pretty much clear that if your hardware is not supportive you will not get 25h2 automatically and you have to do the through the enablement package so now before starting that one important thing is also need to discuss that why you are upgrading 24h2 to 25h2 the but the one thing is pretty much simple that uh, obviously earlier the people are using 23h2 and 23h2 support will be over in the month of the november 2025 so finally after the year or maybe after the six months 24h2 support will be over as well and you will not get any update so finally you have to switch yourself onto the 25h2 and obviously 25h2 contains latest features so i think you should go for that and it will not uh, i'm go going you going you to tell a technique through which uh, the enablement package you can update your 24h2 to 25h2 and you can avail all the latest features 
and uh, it will not hurt your performance as well so no need to worry about that so in order to do so you have to go on to the website i got a very good website and here we have the enablement packages available you can see that 24 h2 to 25 h2 and no need to worry about that uh, this about this website no need to worry about that i will put this link in into the video description so you can get it from there so just you have to copy and paste and you you can get it from there so now you have to just click on to the download and it will be downloaded instantly and once it is downloaded then you have to just double click on it in order to install it and uh, once you click on to the install definitely it will give you a message that windows update is standalone installer yes so it would it will not take more than 20 seconds and it will be done and uh, now it asking to restart the pc so i'm going to restart this pc and once the pc become up then i will show you the version of the windows so let's restart it so pc has been restarted and it would take around uh, 20 20 minutes 30 minutes maybe the pc will be updated at the backend side so it it may take maybe 10 to 15 minutes so once up i will be back so package has been installed and pc has been restarted and now it is up so let me check the version in front of you and in enable my package has been installed successfully so let's check the package so you can see that package has been successfully updated and uh, 25h2 windows 25h2 so that's it guys so if you have a supportive hardware definitely you will get update automatically but if you don't have the supportive hardware then you have to do it manually through the enablement package i will put the link in the description you can get it from there and now all is done so you can enjoy the latest features of windows 11 and all is good so thank you so much for watching this video like subscribe hit the bell icon forward to your family and friends stay safe if you have any question leave the comment uh, in the uh, leave the question in the comment section as soon as possible i will answer for that and uh, thank you very much bye bye